They say they can't wait any longer for authorities to help them find their relatives, so they are digging themselves. Copper Village in eastern Zimbabwe has completely changed. One time! One time! These boulders never used to be here. The shops, schools and government offices are gone. After Cyclone Idai swept through the community, it's now an airy gravesite. My nephew, uh, he was working at the clinic, was now living so where do you see these stones. There are over 100 structures there. This is the Madomeni area. And um, it's him, his wife and uh, four children. Uh, among the four children, they, they, they are twins. And then um, they were all taken away. But people are saying under these stones is where the people are. Community leaders say people climb trees in a desperate attempt to stay alive. But huge rolling boulders crashed into them, throwing them down into the fast-moving water below. It's frustrating. A lot of people are missing. They could be under the stones. Yesterday, a child's body was found in the mud. There are people buried here. Cyclone Idai is the worst storm to hit Zimbabwe since Cyclone Eileen nearly 20 years ago. The impact was devastating. It swept away an entire community. Some people were sleeping at the time. Survivors say it happened just after 9 p.m. on Friday. The water came from that direction and it kept rising and rising very quickly. Some people ran to a police camp which was near this area for safety, but the water was too powerful and swept many of them away. The floods ravaged several parts of eastern Zimbabwe, completely transforming parts of Manikaland province. It really has changed the landscape. Um, new rivers have formed and, um, as, you, as you know, most of the bridges have been washed away. Um, well, certainly the, the entrances, the approaches to the bridges have been washed away. This makes bringing in humanitarian aid more challenging. In Copper, this is how people now get across to what used to be a business centre. The precarious makeshift bridge is meant to be temporary until a more permanent structure is built. As long as this place is difficult to reach by road, people here say they have to improvise. There is an official debt toll for the province, but community leaders fear once the missing are accounted for, that number could be much higher. Those who haven't found their relatives say they won't stop looking for them. Survivors believe those who weren't swept away during the floods are buried somewhere under these boulders and mud. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Chipinge, Zimbabwe.